Hello crafters, it's Denise at Crafty Dandy, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California. And I am here to make another beautiful card with you today. Probably our last one from the Celebration Collection catalog. All right, so this is what we have here. Let me tell you where these things are from. We're coming up to the end of celebration really 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 near the end it only things in here are only available through february 28th all right we're getting close to the end folks the way this works is you purchase something in one of the catalogs and then you can choose items for free here so for every 50 dollars or 100 dollars, you get something so this first card i showed you here this paper is from the Paper Bloons Designer Series paper. That's free with the $50 purchase. Then we've done videos with the donkeys. And we have, I, you know what? I don't think I did a video with the Oso Ombre paper, but I love that. We've done Heal Your Heart, which is such a useful stamp set. And then for this other one here, we use the flower and field designer series paper don't you love that oh i love it and ideas lots of ideas the stamp set we're using today it's also the same one we used last week so last week we made cards with the hummingbird and today we're using the butterfly all right, get the other one over here. So this is what we're doing. Well, just in case you have forgotten, this also has the fun, let's see, the berry blessings, which coordinates with the strawberry one. Oh, in the spring catalog. So isn't that great? So many ideas and the strawberry punch that's in the spring catalog also oh before i forget i do want to remind you you know joining stampin up it's it's really not a big commitment you know it's not like oh no have to be this forever and ever you may want to be of course but it's always a good deal let me tell you um because for 99 dollars you get 125 dollars worth of products and free shipping on that order and then you get a discount for you're guaranteed for the next three months now if you do your minimum then you can get it for longer but right now stampin up is adding all this paper in five packs of paper so if you have a wish list that's more than 99 dollars this is a really good deal. It's always a really good deal. They've just sweetened the deal right now. All right. And that um, will be coming to an end also. So let's take a look at this. All right. Here we go. We're going to get started. We're going to do this one today. Remember, these are from two different sets of paper. The stamp set we're using is a touch of ink. Remember last week we did the hummingbird. It also has the stamp that you can stamp like the color on it. I prefer to color it in because it's not like exactly, it's kind of like water colored. And while that's very pretty, it's kind of not me. So we're going to color it in. And here are the stamps. I have some of them out on um, the blocks already. Let me set that aside. So let's get started. have our pieces here already cut so this was a full-size paper oh one thing you might have noticed this one is whisper white and this is basic white because Stampin' Up! no longer carries the whisper white and the company went out of business so that is the whisper white so you can kind of see a, I don't know I can see the difference from here I don't know if it shows up on the camera all right so this is basic white oh lost a sequin Right, it was a full size paper, cut in half, folded in half. There's our card base. Got an envelope here. Oh, I was gonna show you too. Look at these, the other papers you get. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
All right. These are those, the field and flower. Look at those flowers. Aren't they beautiful? And then you can see on this side, they're just gorgeous. And remember one amazing thing that Stampin' Up! does is on the back. So this tells you field and flower designer series paper. I don't know if you can see it with the plastic on. It tells you the coordinating colors. So I was kind of switching from the misty moonlight on here. I wanted to use a different paper. I wanted to use this paper. So I went and looked on the list and I saw that it was, they don't leave any doubts, you know? Um, there's cherry cobbler, pumpkin pie. So those are some of the colors that I decided to use to color this butterfly. Okay, because I thought those were the colors that were in there. So let me tell you what I used. Remember the Stampin' Blends come in pairs, light and dark. So this is Cherry Cobbler, one of my all-time favorite colors. <laughs> all-time favorite. I haven't even been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for a year. So that's my all-time. Okay, so I think I just went with Cherry Cobbler Light, but they come in light and dark. And then we did pumpkin pie. I think that's what we have here, right? Pumpkin pie, light and dark. And then petal pink, light and dark. So I don't usually color, but I just thought this was so cool. I mean, I, I, of course I color. I don't usually color when I'm recording. So let me tell you, I'm gonna start with, to color it in, I like to, kind of put down a layer of, I know this is considered dark, but a little, well, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, this is the pumpkin pie light. The Stampin' Up! Stampin' Blends have two ends and we're gonna go with the brush end. So this is real quick. I'm gonna go over this part here because then we're gonna come in with the Cherry Cobbler Dark. And because we already, okay, well, this is my theory. I don't know if this is really how it works, but because we already have the alcohol marker down, it's going to make this easier to blend. All right, so I'm going to go up here. And I stamped this with Memento Tuxedo Black because you want to use Memento Tuxedo Black when you're using alcohol markers. If you're using watercolors, you would use something else. I'm not sure what that would be, but it wouldn't be this. All right, so we're gonna put that on here. Just brush it on with that brush end. I promise you, this will be quick. Don't go away, I promise you. All right, that's that. And then I'm gonna blend it with this. Right. And then with the lighter one. And then we're going to the petal pink dark, which is not very dark. Let's see if I can get this to blend a little more. All right. And I'm going to... I have no idea what color body they have, but I'm going to do it with that. All right. I'm going to go back with this. Oops. The brush tip. Even that out a little bit. There is no right or wrong with this. Just do what you do. I did, just did this while we were, my family was watching um, 
TV last night, so. And blend it in with that. All right, well, we're going to let it go with that. It's fun. I'm going to put it over there. It dries really fast because it is alcohol. All right, so this is what we're going for. We're going to stick this down on here with, oh, there's a, isn't that a cute back? Stamp and seal. A little more of the top there. All right. I love these flowers. So I'm going to see if I can get over this. Um, these dimensions will be listed below but let me tell you let me get my book out here this piece or these pieces are the designer series paper the flowered one is one by five and a half and then the black is one and a quarter by five and a half so they're the same length and they're the width they're the length of the card or the width of the card i don't know all right, so that's gonna go on there. All right, I'm gonna bring this over. There's our host code for February. And if you place an order over $35, I will send you the pieces to make similar cards to this. You'll have to have the stamp set. I'm not allowed to send stamped images, but I can send you the pieces to put it together and you can use your own stamps. Okay, I'm just gonna see like how far that should go up and on this one we're gonna put hello friend oh I did hello friend on this one too you do whatever you need to do whether I mean maybe you need a birthday card maybe you have a birthday stamp I don't, but that's not what I'm doing I'm doing hello friend and I'm gonna come over it ABC one two three there we go clean this off before I get it on myself and I'll put this away before I put my elbow in it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna use these little dots which come in the set. There they are, right there. Now, I don't know if I mentioned that these images are shown at 65%. They're larger than what they show up here. This is actual size. All right, I'm gonna bring out my squishy mat if you don't have a squishy mat uh, you can use a magazine or something like that all right i'm just going to put this on here to kind of get an idea Let's see am i on the camera window butterfly all right so what we're going to do is the butterfly let's see this is going to go about there Butterfly is going to go there. So I'm just going to put the little dots kind of around where the butterfly would go. Let's see. And I'm going to do this in, oh, I put it right out of my reach. Cherry cobbler. Did I stick my thumb in it? I always stick my thumb in it. All right, here we go. So I'm going to stamp it on here. I'm going to stamp it up on there so it's not too dark. And I'm just going to get an idea where this will be. And I'm going to go here, ABC, one, two, three. Stamp it on there. Sometimes I forget that I was going to stamp it off. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Oops. Grabbing it funny. Whoops. Let's get that off of there. Try that again. Oh, did it again. I make a mess. What am I doing here? Oh, I've got to get that off. Sorry. I will get that all over my fingers and it'll be on my papers. You ever do that? Is it just me? Please, please don't tell me it's just me. All 
who were no right or wrong to this. All right. Let's close this up. Cherry cobbler. All right. Let's move this out of the way. All right. Check my hands. Look good. All right. I'm going to put this like this. I'm going to line this up on the grid paper. So, well, actually, let's see if we can get it flat. I'll put it on the grid paper so that I can get it straight. And I think we're going up to like the second little line. All right, put that on there. Get my stamp and seal. Line it back up. So, does anybody else have trouble putting things on straight? And going up to the second line. There we go. All right. Now we're going to stick our butterfly on and we're going to put it on with dimensionals. This is a larger sheet of dimensionals. I think it was left over from a paper pumpkin. And do I want to cut them? No, I think I can go. Go go full strength on this one. We do have miniature ones, but this one will hold big ones. All right, we're gonna go this way. Go ahead and take these off. Someone is going to get a beautiful Hello Friend card. I love sending cards to my friends. I think they enjoy getting them. How about right there? How's that? Not looking good? All right, now I'm going to bring out these little these sequins. These are the Artistry Blooms adhesive ones, and you get several different colors. So let me get my take a pick tool and I'll put one of these. I'll just put it right up there. Isn't that a beautiful color? And one of these right after Hello Friend. I usually do them in threes. I'm going to put one right there. All right. What do you think of that? Let me clear up my workspace here. Did I forget anything? Hello, friend. Well, those are looking very similar. When you color, though, when you color like that, I don't think you could ever have it look exactly the same, which is beautiful. And this I did with uh, Misty Moonlight and Seaside Spray. Oh, and I had a little bow on that one. I forgot. Well, there they are. Aren't they beautiful? Well, my friends, I hope until next time, you have a blessed day. Bye.